Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm joined by Emmanuel here today, and we're excited to show you what you can do in Einblick. We're starting out with a file here, which is a marketing campaign run by an auto dealership where they try to renew folks' leases early by offering them a cash incentive. We can start by visualizing the acceptance column and see that for the campaign overall, about 39% of people accepted our promotional offer. And we can grab this incentive column as well and see that we offered an incentive of between zero to $2,000 with most folks not getting too much. Now, I might ask, what happens if I filtered only those individuals who got a high incentive? How did the campaign perform then? By dragging this filter, I can see that for those with over $800 of incentive, the acceptance rate jumps to 65%. Great, right, Paul. Um, do you mind if I add another filter here? Because I'm kind of interested in you know how the credit score influences this as well. So let me just pick people with a high credit score and add this as a filter here too. Any meaningful change there? Yeah, it seems like uh, the acceptance rate has jumped to 73% when we filter for both of these factors together. Okay, that makes sense, I think. Um, is there kind of a way to get maybe a little bit of an overview of what kind of other factors might lead to, uh, lead to people accepting this promotion? Yeah, we can go ahead and use the correlation operation. Uh, this is a nice way to just look at our target variable and see what factors seem to be related. We can go ahead and select acceptance and select all the other features we know about our customers and see what the correlations are. Um, cool, let me just look at this real quick. So it seems like applied online and applied at dealership are highly correlated, which makes sense because only people who accept the promotion will then go on and, and apply. So let's just keep that, keep that in mind that we might want to filter those two out for later uh, follow-up analysis there. That makes a lot of sense. Well, we can go ahead and take this correlation and probably uh, translate that through to a quick machine learning model as well, uh, where we can take our data set plug it into training, select our target variable of accepted, select the features and uh, making sure to exclude the two that you called out, applied online and applied at dealership. And we can select a classification task since there's only two outcomes. And we can start with simple accuracy uh, for now. And let's give the model five minutes to run. One of the really cool things about Einblick is that we will return results to you right away in less than five seconds for every data set. What we do is take a sample, compute the best result we can off that sample, and then continue to run and rerun that in the background, whether it's a bar chart, a simple average, or a machine learning model, until we've reached 100% of the data processed. Here, me and Emmanuel can look at the explainer even while the model keeps searching for better and better models, because the top drivers should stay pretty consistent even as we sample over larger and larger data sets. So Emmanuel, how do these drivers look to you? Um, yeah, actually, they, uh, that makes sense to me. I think incentive and age are, are very uh, predictive, which seems reasonable versus, you know, location of a customer doesn't really matter. I think that kind of matches what I was expecting. Sounds good. Well, I see a new, better model has returned, so maybe we can take this next model and uh, try it out and see what our prediction would be for next month's campaign. Um, sounds good to me. So I think for that, we first need some more data, right? So let me maybe pull this from Snowflake real quick because I think our data is there. Just run a quick SQL query here to pull in that new data. Um, and then if I look at this in tabular format here, Great, I think that makes sense. I think the only thing we don't have in here is this incentive. Um, so what I can do here is uh, maybe add a quick uh, snippet of Python uh, where I will add a new column. Uh, and this is a good example of how you can mix and match uh, code and no code workflows in Einblick. So if I just set it at $300, does that seem reasonable? Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. So let me run this and then I'll plug it into the model that you have here. You look at the output quickly um, and look at what the model is predicting overall. Uh, we can see we expect around 27% of customers accepting this promotion if we offer $300. Does that seem reasonable to you? Yeah, sounds pretty reasonable. We can probably throw these up on a dashboard and uh, share it with some of our colleagues. No, perfect. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, I can do that later. Um, thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. All right. 